IPCC concludes that uh, the literature only support SRM as a supplement to deep mitigation of the greenhouse gas emissions, but recognizes the potential of, of SRM to offset warming and reduce some of the global risks of climate change related to temperature rise, sea ice loss, frequency of extreme storms and heat waves in some regions. However, the report also highlights the uh, large uncertainties and knowledge gaps in relation to technology maturity, physical understanding, potential impacts and challenges of governance, all of which may constrain the ability to implement SRM even in the near future. So as we know, SRM consists of a portfolio of, uh, of options. One of them, which is the stratospheric aerosol injection that we refer to as SAI, is the most studied one through modeling exercises that show potential benefits, but also risks, including the change in precipitation patterns in some regions of the world that could compromise their agriculture and implicitly their economies. One of the concerns with SAI, if deployed, is the need to ensure its continuity for many years. You know, the literature says 100 years. Uh, so as to avoid the so-called termination effect that could imply in a rapid rise in the global mean temperature. So to have the opposite effect. It is also known that the more intense the SIM deployment, the larger is the likelihood for the risks of side effects and environmental risks. And this makes the governance of SRM an issue of urgency. Currently, uh, the literature says that we don't have a dedicated formal international SRM governance for research, development, demonstration or deployment that, among other things, should ensure that SRM is considered only as part of a broader mitigation-centered portfolio of responses to climate change. I like to say that SRM is not a mitigation option. It is just a technology to minimize the risks, but it does nothing to reduce the greenhouse gas uh, in the atmosphere and the concentration of greenhouse gas in the atmosphere. The lack of a robust and formal SRM governance poses risks. And numerous authors in the IPCC suggest a wide range of governance principles, including to guard against potential risks and harms, to enable appropriate research and development of scientific knowledge, and to legitimize any future research or policy making through active and informed public and expert community engagement.